Hi everybody, how are you doing today? It's Friday. Happy Friday night stitching if you're stitching. I am taking a break from stitching and I'm taking a walk. So if the bouncing is bothering you, sorry. Um, but I thought it would be a good time to uh, take a break, take a walk. Um, Today's been one of those days where I just, I don't know, a lot of things have been on my mind. And so stitching has not been really one of them. I have gotten some progress done, but not nearly as much as I have on other days. So, but right now I'm just kind of like walking around a little bit, uh, getting out and about. This week, since I have been stitching so much. I have been trying to do a bit more exercise during the stitching sessions. So that way I'm staying active while still enjoying the hobby that we all like to do. Um, So, but it's hard though, because you know, whenever we're stitching, it, for me at least, I lose track of time very easily and I can sit for multiple hours and not even realize that it's been three, four hours at a time. So, can we see the, there's the ducks. Run into the water, but So this way, at least where I live, I'm able to like get up and just really quick walk out and I can do a lap around the lake and then run back in and just start stitching again. I'll do things like, you know, 25 squats or, you know, get up and do 25 squats or, and then sit back down and stitch or 25 sit-ups, 25 push-ups, just to do something to make me feel like I'm being active than just using my hands. Um, it's not a lot, but at least it's something. I've also been trying to drink a lot more water because usually when I'm at home, all I drink is coffee and I don't drink much water at all. And especially with an entire week of being at home and not drinking water, I would get dehydrated real quick. So definitely trying to drink a lot more water and uh, stay hydrated. But um, so just taking a break from stitching. I am starting and maybe this is one of the reasons why I haven't really been stitching in the stitchy mood is I might be starting to wane from Henry just a bit. So I'm going to try to push through the end of the day and see how I feel and then wake up in the morning and see if I want to continue working on him or if maybe I need to have a day off and work on something different. So that might play a role in how I feel today. But with all of that aside, I have been making decent strides on Henry and staying pretty productive. Um, I've also done a little bit of business stuff today, which I'm not going to really talk about today, but I will get into in tomorrow's final birthday palooza episode uh, when I talk about my shop update so stay tuned for that tomorrow that will be a lot of fun and uh, yeah so thinking I might go see Jurassic Park tomorrow I think it's out here I think it's out everywhere, isn't it? I don't know, I haven't really looked. I just know I've heard people talking about it. And I do want to see that one in the theater. So a friend and I might go see that in the theater tomorrow. 
that'll be a lot of fun because it's going to be 100 degrees here so don't really feel like being outside any more than I have to be. Um, I said I was going to organize my bobbins for my DMC. No, that didn't happen either today. So maybe later tonight while I'm catching up on some floss tube or maybe not at all. It is what it is. So, um, but anyways, I'm going to end this part here. When I get back inside, I'll flip you around and I'll show you what I got done on Henry. See you in a second. So here is where we are on Henry. I had gotten a, quest, a request to pan out and show the entire T of Henry. And this is as far out as I can go because of course, the top part is rolled up on the scroll bar. But there is what I can show you of Henry. And here is where we are on this page today. Just excuse the... Uh, the thread as to where I am right now. That's uh, the current color I'm working on. And I did say I wasn't going to do 3371 yet. Yeah, I, I changed my mind. I went ahead and I decided to go ahead and fill that in because I found out looking at the pattern, there's a lot of 3371 spread out throughout the pattern. So I wanted to fill that in so I can see um, to get more of the the confetti filled in on the actual this part and then it, it'll make The rest of the other colors go a lot quicker because I don't have to navigate those 3371 holes throughout here, so um, That definitely helps uh, With that so I am currently working I'm halfway down through the 3371 on uh, the confetti part of the page and then I'll come over here and fill it in on the side of the page <clears throat> excuse me and then I'll go ahead and start filling in more of the colors on this page if I have a decent amount of time tomorrow and I'm feeling motivated on him I could possibly get him done tomorrow because looking at it here there's not a whole lot to do but there are, while it doesn't look like there's a lot, there's a lot of color changes, which is time consuming. And the other qu question on the comments I was given asked was, have I thought about pre-threading multiple needles with different colors to help that? And yes, I have done that before, but to me that gets a little bit complicated and um, confusing and I, it, I, I like to stay neat and organized and for me that means one color at one time so this is just my way of doing it and while it might be slow and tedious when it comes down to uh, a lot of confetti then it, that's just how it is on these pages but I get the job done and I'm, I'm, fair, I'm still fairly quick at it it's just slower pace than what I'm used to as far as stitching is concerned so Again, I'm, I'm very happy with my progress on Henry this week with this page because this page has gone um, uh, extremely smooth with the confetti. And I don't think these two pages down here have nearly as much 
while it's still this pattern of his shirt, I don't think it's as in depth of confetti just because it doesn't have the band of the necklace or whatever we want to call this decorative um, band. And it's it's the 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 decorative part of this the shirt starts to spread out as you go farther down on the the shirt. So um, it gets to be a little bit easier confetti wise. So that's kind of nice. Um, so that is where we are at. So we will see tonight and tomorrow how I feel and where this leads me. And if if I do need to change. I probably will go back to working on the by the bay for a day or so just to have a nice palette cleanser of that and then move on from there so but we'll see maybe tonight I'll, I'll get re-motivated to work on him some more and uh, have a good go at it so but this is where I'm going to leave you for today. Uh, this is the second to last day of birthday post birthday Palooza. Tomorrow will be the the big finale, and then we'll go back to our regularly scheduled programming. So I hope you're enjoying. I will see you one more day of daily uh, vlogging, and um, I hope you're all having a wonderful time and uh, have a good night. And don't forget to always be creative. I'll see you tomorrow.